how to focus your watch and deuce. And I'm going to sell my 3D printer. I have been using this thing for over three years now, and it is time for it to go. Why am I selling my 3D printer? Because I bought a new 3D printer. And this box is the brand new Ender 3 version 3 KE, that's Kilo Echo model printer. It just hit the market about a month ago. So what we're going to do today is do an open box and build of this. Hopefully we can get a print out of it to test it to make sure that it's good to go. There are many, many printers on the market today. Ender and Creality is not the only game on the block anymore. They are one of many. That should be what it looks like when I'm done, hopefully. The reason why I went with this model is because I've had great success with my original Ender 3 Pro. Take a look at what's here. We got the instruction booklet. We got a little bit of 3D printer media right there, a little bit of filament. Oh, some screws. Oh, got a got a little thumb drive there, some screws. Not much though. Not a lot of stuff required to put this together, which is great. Power cord, standard, standard power cord that you see everywhere. Uh see oh this holds on. What the hell is this? I don't know what that is. <laughs> and oh here's a screen. So this is the screen that you do all the all the input by, all the settings into this screen. It's a touch screen now, which is very nice, way faster than the old one. And that's really the reason why I'm doing this is because of speed. This is supposed to be a lot faster and I can use a lot different, a lot better materials, different materials that the old printer could not handle without some major upgrades. Get this sucker out of here. Wow, that's, that's basically already put together for me. Here's a hot end right there where the filament comes out. That should be a very, very spicy as far as the heat goes. Should go up to, I can't, 300. I think this goes to 300 Celsius, which is way, way hotter than my old one, which is one of the reasons why I bought this. Uh, it's supposed to be a lot more stable with dual screws. The old one only has one screw here instead of having dual screws. So that should really keep everything in the correct plane. Everything should go faster and easier, better, faster, stronger, longer, all that good stuff. Not exactly sure why they have the Mercedes logo in there, but um, I want to run with it. This base weighs more than my entire Ender 3. Big old ribbon cable. There we go. You got to protect that while you're putting everything together. Yeah, this should just snap together like Legos. The reason why I chose the Ender V3 KE model is because number one, the auto leveling. It auto levels the bed, so you never have to tinker with all the different screws to level the bed manually. On the old Ender 3, it almost became an art form and it was tiresome to say the least. It's also fast, really fast. It's as fast as any 3D printer that is 10 times the price. Both of those features are available on a much cheaper SE model, but what the KE model has that the SE lacks, it has a much larger list of filaments it can use and some of those are much stronger than regular PLA+. Get the of the black positioning label of the flexible flat cable, FFC, stuck at the line claw. <laughs> I'm assuming that means this right here. <laughs> I now finally figured out what this whole thing does up here. Okay. So we got the spool holder right here. And instead of the old Ender 3, this one faces forward. And this stays loose. The filament comes off of the roll, goes through here. This is a sensor that tells it whether or not it has run out of filament because once that filament runs out, then it'll just sit there and my old one would just sit there and just sit and spin all day long pretending to print something and it not print. So this one will actually pause it the second it has an issue there. Okay, self-check. Cool. I think I figured it out. The thing came from the factory set up for 230 versus 110. So let me go ahead and flip that over. All right, let's see if it works now. It was supposed to be 230. I'm surprised it did anything at all. I guess it's a much better option than having a uh, 110 setting and then plug it into 230. This is real time. That's insane. I'm not gonna stand here and lie to you and say that this printer is perfect for out of the box. It is pretty darn close. It's much closer to perfection than my old Ender 3 is, but this is not perfect. I will have to do some tuning to get those perfect results that I need for my hobby. If you want near perfect results straight out of the box, 
then you're going to have to spend a lot more money and get something like a bamboo or Prussia printer. Those are fantastic, but you pay for that perfection. Benchy is basically a boat. That's all it is. It's a boat, but it's really, really hard to print cleanly. And every single Creality printer and most printers come with this pre-installed, ready to go. Because if you can print a Benchy, then you're pretty much set on here. You're pretty much good to go. Now, there are a few extrusions here that aren't as pretty as they could be. But the overhangs, that's a big one right here. The overhang, the circles, the open circles there are very difficult to print. There are some overhangs right here on the front of the windshield that is, you can see it had a little bit of trouble doing bridging that gap there, which is normal. That's not unheard of or unusual. But the fact that it's so fast, <laughs> it did it so fast. Uh, that is incredible. Overall, the finish is great. And again, this is with zero tuning. Now there are a multitude of videos out there and channels out there that are dedicated for you fine tuning your printer. I am not that guy. I am not that technical into this. Uh, so I will be following the same, the same video you would. If you want to get into 3D printing, I do not recommend this one, this particular model as your first 3D printer. What I do recommend if you're on a budget to get the Ender 3 V3 SE, and that is Sierra Echo model. It's basically just like this, except it can't do all the different types of filaments, but it will do the PLA filament, which is primarily what I'll be using it for anyway. I got the upgraded model just because I want to experiment finally with other filaments with nylons and things of that nature. But the SE model of this will be fine, especially for your first 3D printer. It has been a few days since I put this together and made that initial benchy print here and the thing prints the thing just prints straight out of the box i have had zero issues with it i'm sure i need to tweak it a little bit i've not really run its full gamut of abilities yet so i'm positive i will run across something where i need to tweak some settings here or there but for the most part it is printing very very well straight out of the box now will yours be that way i don't know this is a sample of one that i am testing and by the way, testing means I bought this with my own money. One thing to note about the 3D printing community is how cool they are with redesigning products. Okay, remember this. This is from a couple of years ago. I designed these taco mags for double stack magazines, such as what you'd find on a Glock. I have been using these things for about two years now around the farm, on competition circuits, what have you, and they've been flawless. They've been great. I've not broken one yet, which is insane because I am notoriously hard on my products. Now, remember, I did not completely design this out of thin air. Uh, this was someone else's design that obviously was not using it for real firearms because it was not where, it was nowhere near sturdy enough to take the abuse of a real shooter. Recently, someone named Jetstar on Thingiverse came up with this design, which is a reimagining of my taco mag design for rifle mags and it slide right in they have no problem it does not come out <laughs> that is fantastic i love that about the 3d printing community is that they can take things make them their own and again just redesign everything and then put them out into the universe for everyone to enjoy now that is i missed my velcro completely here so we got my taco mag for my pistol, another taco mag back here for my rifle. Of course, always make sure your bullets are pointed toward your gun. And that is amazing. Somebody also made one for a long boy magazine right there. Now, I think that design is for an airsoft gun, but it looks like it's the same dimensions as one of these nine millimeter big boys here for 33 rounds. So I've not printed off yet. I may here soon just to see if it works. Cause when you had the setup already there, it costs pennies to try these designs. That's what's great about it. And with this really fast, really fast bed here and slinger here, you can print those off in no time flat. Speaking of the speed, this sucker will go so fast that it will cause an oscillation in the table. I had to screw this table to the wall to secure it enough to where it wouldn't air out and stop. So keep that in mind. If you're buying a very fast printer of any maker model, not just Creality, you will need a table that is screwed onto the wall or very, very stable. In the first comment down below, I will have links to everything I used and talk about today, including just our awesome taco mag for your rifle needs. So go ahead and take a look at those. Remember anything that goes to Amazon 
It is an affiliate link. It does not cost you anything extra to buy through that link, but it does help out the channel and keep the lights on. So that's a huge help for the Deuce channel. As always, you guys have a great day. See ya.